Hey guys, Zabani Dude here again. The PlayStation 4's processing speed has been, and we're gonna, ba this basically overrides every single, like, uh, PlayStation 4 specs video to its current specs now. Uh, uh, that, that's not generally what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about the PlayStation 4's uh, overall temperature uh, while in full load and in idle, like sleep mode. So, generally, the PlayStation 4's clock speed, and this has been official. Uh, this has been basically official by the FFC. So the FFC has uh, rated this product, and it's now available for. It, it can now be sold in the United States. You, you can't just make a product and just go, "Oh, I'm gonna sell it to anywhere I want to," unless I'm gonna sell it on eBay. No, no, no. If you want to sell it in stores, you're gonna need to, uh, you know, go to the FFC and have it get it rated. You know, uh, if it can actually be sold in areas like the United States. And the FFC is only designated for the United States, but I'm going on with this too much. Alright, so the official clock speed of the PlayStation 4, uh, the maximum clock speed of the PlayStation 4, uh, that doesn't mean, like, I mean, we don't know what the origin clock speed of the PlayStation 4 is. This may just be like one of those turbo boost features, but the official, one of the uh, known official clock speeds of the PlayStation 4 is that it runs at 2.75 gigahertz. And you might be thinking, like, that's not a lot compared to most uh, gaming PCs that run at, like, 3.6 like, gigahertz or even 4.2 gigahertz. But, uh, generically, when it comes to, like, newer technology, uh, it actually runs a lot better. Like, uh, when it comes to, like, the clock speed. Like, I bought my mother, like, a 1.6 gigahertz laptop. And that thing outperforms my 2.27 gigahertz laptop that I'm using right now to record my commentaries and everything with. And that thing is, it, it's, it was, I think it was made in like 2009, 2010. It's a little Dell laptop, nothing special, 4 gigs of RAM and all of that. And hers has generically the exact same specs as mine, you know, 4 gigs of RAM. It's just that the the chipset is probably somewhat different, but the, the core processor over the years gets refined and it actually works a lot better even at lower clock speeds. So generically clock speed means absolutely nothing, but that's good to know that the PlayStation 4 is going to be running at this type of clock speed. Now it's also being reported that the PlayStation 4 will also be uh, at idle run at least about 5 degrees Celsius and the PlayStation 4's maximum heat consumption will basically be 35 degrees Celsius like if you're running it at full load and that's actually pretty good uh, c c you know if you bring it back to the PlayStation 3 it would actually run somewhere between 45 degrees Celsius and 55 degrees Celsius so you know you put your hand in your PlayStation 4 and you put your hand in your PlayStation 3 it'll be a massive difference as far as the heat is concerned and actually uh, this is th this is a good thing this is going to prevent the I issues like the yellow light of death that would appear for the PlayStation 3 uh, from happening on the PlayStation 4 because the PlayStation 3, if you reached over like 60 to 60 degrees Celsius, you would unfortunately get that yellow light of death and it would just, it would corrupt your system and fuck it over to being nothing more than a uh, useless paperweight. But luckily this has been corrupt, uh, luckily this has just been fixed with the PlayStation 4's uh, design of, uh, I'm not sure, uh, I think it was Mark Sony who made the PlayStation 4's design, but this is this is good for the PlayStation 4 overall, and it's, it's actually lighter than the PS3 uh, on launch. The PS3 was about 11 pounds on launch, and, you know, the PlayStation 4 is going to be 6 pounds on launch. So, yeah, generically, this is a, a much bigger difference from the launch of the PlayStation 3. I really am starting to doubt that there's going to be anything wrong with the PlayStation 4's hardware when it first comes out. Like, they seem to have everything, you know, on lockdown. Everything seems to be set, uh, straight, everything seems to be ready and set to go. So, yeah, uh, this is just a little bit of gaming news I just want to report on. Uh, nothing really important here. Just the only real thing that caught my eye in this article, and the only reason I'm reporting on it is just because the sole fact of the matter that they actually gave a clock speed that the PlayStation 4 can output. So, yeah. Alright guys, it's been Zabundi Dude. If you guys thought this information was actually informative to you guys in any way, shape, or form, it would be much appreciated if you guys left it a like. And yeah, alright guys, it's a bunny dude, peace.